If there is one architect who arguably pioneered the concept of building cool houses into natural landscapes, it's Frank Lloyd Wright. Those who don't know about him, he was an American architect, designer, writer, and educator who had designed more than 1,000 structures over a creative period of 70 years of his lifetime. However, plenty of other architects have taken a concept from Wright's book to their work. What's more, so many decades after Wright's revolution, the technology has made impossible-seeming projects a reality. From a supremely modern cross-shaped residence carved into a giant boulder in the Saudi Arabian desert, to a glass box built into the edge of a Canadian cliff, these special houses seem more like livable art. Welcome to Mega Luxury! Before we begin, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss amazing videos from us. Here, let's take a look at the top 10 stunning homes that were built into nature. Number 10. Falling Water, Mill Run, Pennsylvania Falling Water is a house designed by architect Frank Lloyd Wright in 1935 in the Laurel Highlands of southwest Pennsylvania, about 110 kilometers southeast of Pittsburgh. Falling Water is famous because it's built partly over a waterfall on Bear Run in Mill Run, Pennsylvania. The house was designed to serve as a weekend retreat for Lillian and Edgar J. Kaufman, the owner of Pittsburgh Kaufman's department store. After its completion, time called Falling Water Wright's most beautiful job, and it is listed among Smithsonian's life list of 28 places to see before you die. The house was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1966. In 1991, members of the American Institute of Architects named Falling Water the best all-time work of American architecture. Number 9. Frey House 2, Palm Springs, California Frey House 2 appears to grow from the craggy rocks of the San Jacinto Mountain overlooking Palm Springs, California. Architect Albert Frey spent years measuring the movement of the sun and the contours of the rocks before he selected the site for his modernist home. Widely praised as a landmark example of desert modernism, the Frey 2 house is now owned by the Palm Springs Art Museum. However, to protect the structure, it is rarely open to the public. Though there are mid-century era homes scattered throughout the world, the biggest collection is in Palm Springs. Frey House II, the home served as his longtime residence. He built it into the hillside at the west end of Taquitz Canyon Way. As its name implies, Frey House II was the architect's second home in Palm Springs, and he moved in when it was finished in 1964. Number 8. Mountain House, British Columbia, Canada the Iranian architect and interior designer, Milad Eshtiagi, designed what she calls the mountain house between four pre-existing trees that added a bit of color to the rocky cliff on Quadra Island, a scenic stretch of land off the eastern coast of Vancouver. Though there are quite a few levels of the complex residence in the mountains, it's highly organized. Building entirely around the nature that was already there, the home sticks out off the cliff and over the water below. According to Amazing Architecture, the home is made of three levels that the client had requested. One level is for the family's parents, another is for the son and his wife, and one will be made for recreational sports. Along with the different houses coming together to make one big home, there's a gym, tons of terraces and balconies, several backyards and a rec room. There's also a massive pool that is completely see-through, which means when you're swimming, you'll get to look down on a massive drop to the ocean below. Number 7. Doolittle House, Joshua Tree, California The Doolittle House should theoretically be hard to miss, designed by architect Kendrick Banks Kellogg in the 1980s. The 4,600-square-foot home rises up out of the California desert like an arachnid, its stony spines hovering in the landscape like a UFO just about to settle down. It should also theoretically feel menacing. Yet the house is both discreet and, once you're inside, surprisingly cozy. It was these factors that attracted writer Christopher Dukes and her Facebook executive husband Matt Jacobson to it when they first came in to view it in 2015. And surprisingly said, I couldn't believe that something so radical and beautiful could actually be built. Kellogg's Doolittle House in Joshua Tree took nearly two decades to complete, given the difficult terrain for artist Bev Doolittle and her husband Jay. Though it boasts a UFO-like vibe, the Doolittle House has been described as surprisingly warm and cozy, especially from the inside. Number 6. House Inside a Rock, Hegra, Saudi Arabia The architect and photographer showed true talent in creating 3D concept renders with his house inside a rock project. 
a minimalist design that uses the contrast of natural rock and concrete in a way that the two materials complement each other. The project became the house inside a rock in the desert of Saudi Arabia. Considering the visual complexity of the rocks at Madain Sela, she kept things simple in terms of shape and composition. In fact, house design was imperative to use simple planes and cubes in order to achieve a visual balance. While inserting the house into the rock, its visual impact kept from eye level as minimal as possible. The real extent of the intervention is revealed only when observed from a bird's eye perspective. Number 5. Suspended House, Mendocino, California with her myriad houses in the air, Iranian architect Milad Eshtiagi has proven that she is not afraid of heights. The location of the land of this project was off the edge of the cliff, so in designing the house, they decided to separate the house from the land of the project, so that the house is suspended in the air so that people will experience different sensations. The feeling of fear and excitement in the outdoor space and the feeling of calm and cozy in the indoor space. Even within a home like this, there's still a sense of calm because it's so connected to the surrounding nature. To ensure it won't slide off the cliff, the architect used a cable system. The elevated cables bear the weight of the home while the lower ones withstand lateral and upward winds. There is a path created that reaches to a space for sitting and relaxing, and a part for play which is the swing and the person in the space experiences a sense of liberation, weightlessness, floating in the air, the weight of this section is borne by the cables connected to the project. Number 4. Mallon House, Los Angeles, California One of the most famous creations is the Mallon House, known lovingly as the Chemosphere because it was designed for Leonard Mallon, an aerospace engineer. Nearly as impressive as the outrageous architecture are the views of the San Fernando Valley, which are accessible from windows on all sides. This home built in 1960 may be the solution to a construction in steep terrain, slope of 45 degrees, hardly accessible, leaving almost intact the surrounding landscape and environmental impact. What's more, the one-story chemosphere seemingly balances a 29-foot tall, 5-foot wide concrete column that's pitched into a steeply sloped hill. At least it's a work that invites reflection and avoids conventional excavation of the mountain, the retaining walls, and the increased cost of building the house. Number 3. Bridge House, Vancouver, Canada Bridge House is a concept of a cliff house that is formed in two floors as a separate unit, with two concrete cores on both sides of the cliff for a single-family home. Vertical accessibility through the elevator as well as the visible stairs which initially shows itself as a suspension and after passing through the semi-open space. One has air flowing between the levels reaching the upper unit and the roof. There are two pools on the roof of the upper unit, one for the upper unit and the other for the lower unit. The upper unit overlooks the pool through a large frame. The lower unit also has a view of its pool through the roof. The combination of light has passed through the water to the interior with a view from the pool to the inside and also from the inside of the pool. Number 2. Cliff House, Prince Edward Island, Canada Perched within two matte black brackets, a box-like residence boasts unparalleled views of the surrounding Red Rock Mountains. Iranian Milad Eshtiagi designed this residence to look simple, but there's actually a lot to it. In designing this project, it has been combined into two structures in the form of a core from the cliff, and the house is connected to these two structures like a bridge. And the reason for the distance of the house from the rock is ventilation and natural light from the side of the rock. And while it makes the house look suspended from the structure of the house itself, another structure is hung on the lower floor of the house. The floor of this part is made of glass so that we can see and have a full view of the landscape. In the roof part of the house, a space has been designed for sunbathing, swimming, and living. Number 1. Marala, Calgary, Canada Marala is an isolated cabin, the perfect escape retreat for a weekend away from the city. An architectural tribute to the legacy of Frank Lloyd Wright and John Lautner. Partly submerged in the ground, partly cantilevered over the cliff with a dramatic fully glazed bedroom. Framing the breathtaking view over the turquoise Bow River. The cabin is rather small, 45 square meters with an extra 20 square meters as reserves for water supply, bathroom facilities, etc. It is designed to be constructed out of raw concrete, glass, and matte black steel. 
The bedroom is located six steps below the kitchen reading area together with an opaque glazed toilet and a shower cabin. Small storage space located under the dining bar kitchen. The reading area is located opposite the kitchen and next to the uncovered layers of the local limestone, where a lounge chair is placed overlooking the view. The shape of Marala is square, yet the rotation of 45 degrees it achieves a dynamic feeling with the cliff and the ground and appears as if it has been merged out of the ground during an earthquake, just as its name describes. The sloped, partly submerged roof is planted in order to bend in with the environment. Well, if you like this video, I am sure you are going to love to watch our video about the tallest abandoned skyscrapers in the world on our channel. Make sure to click the subscribe button for future notifications and never miss our videos. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned.